It's very alarming. We've had record-breaking temperatures in the month of July, not only in Texas, but throughout the Midwest. And what we're seeing now is an aftermath. Hot weather followed by a lot of precipitation. What does that mean? Standing water. That is prime material for mosquitoes to grow and flourish. August and September, we're very concerned about the increase in the amount of mosquitoes that are living in certain areas. I'm very happy to hear that there's been aerial spraying of various insecticides to try and hit those mosquito pools. And state health departments throughout the country are monitoring their mosquito pools for West Nile activity. What's very alarming is there's an increase in the number of cases there as a result of this. It's a perfect storm, hot weather, humidity, standing water, rain, but also we're seeing more serious cases. Previously, about 80% of individuals that contract West Nile don't even know it. They're asymptomatic. They feel fine. 20% of the time, the symptoms are very mild. Body aches, headachey, feverish, feel like they have some type of acute illness that typically resolves with no treatment. And it's been estimated that one out of 150 may develop severe disease. And that means meningitis, encephalitis, inflammation of the brain. And that's a very serious condition that can result in paralysis and even death, rarely. We've seen several fatalities already this summer, so it's heating up and it's a very scary proposition. Here are some things that people can do. If they have screens in their homes and there's holes in the screens, get them repaired. Standing water, that's a breeding ground for mosquitoes. You want to try and eliminate standing water in tires and things like this, especially after rainstorms. If you're going to go out in the evening to early morning hours, you want to protect yourself with insect spray. Use the right and safe insect repellent. Read the label. DEET, which is the prototypic insect repellent, works extremely well in preventing West Nile, mosquito-borne diseases, tick-borne diseases, Lyme disease, and so forth. Wearing long pants, things like that, and long sleeves are not attractive to people during warm weather. But we want to take protective measures such as insect sprays and other things. So if you get mosquitoes in the house and you're concerned about this, have a fan blowing on you at night while you're sleeping at a moderate setting. The mosquitoes can't land on you.